Oh, that's actually a semi over. Buttons do four things. Each one. All right, here we are, going on week six. So if you're doing this yourself and you're doing it part time, you can expect to probably go about the same pace if you've never done this kind of work before. That's true. All the windows are in, and we're starting on the framing. Now I know this wall's a little close and we had to rip these in half um, because we didn't have a lot of room to work with to work around the breaker box and such. Um, but the rest we're gonna put our, we're gonna put out a decent space. Uh, it isn't leveled out yet, um, just sitting there. But uh, today we're, hopefully Chris will have the rest of that wall finished and this part of the wall finished by the end of the week. Oh yeah. We will see. One thing you're going to need when you're screwing in concrete, I'm not sure why we didn't need it upstairs on the porch. The porch must have been just a little more porous or softer concrete or something. Uh, we were able to use the masonry bits, but we used it as a normal drill. But that wasn't working down here. This concrete was pretty durable. So uh, I picked this up. It's a six amp. Did the job just fine. Seems working good, right, Chris? Oh yeah, it works a lot better. Yeah, it's just a, a hyper tough yeah, six awesome. amp. Technically off brand, but compared to a regular drill, night and day difference. Yeah, it was uh, 24 bucks at Walmart. So you want to get a hammer drill. So we watched several YouTube videos, and one of them showed the guy. It was this whole house, and they made the four, uh, eight foot frame. You know, the two by fours on top and bottom. They framed it all on the ground, and they pushed the wall up. Now we took an account that the wall may not be even. We picked the lowest point. So we made the wall no higher than the lowest point, a little bit smaller than that. This thing took forever to get fit in place and we still couldn't get to fit right. I ended up just throwing a two by four to fill the gap and we'll deal with it later. I just put that board in there. Um, I got a frame around that. We're gonna build a box around that later anyway. So I'll, I'll deal with that later. Um, so this was supposed to be over a little further so we'd have room to play. Getting that wall up there to fit. I mean, we had the sledgehammer out and everything. And uh, <laughs> even though we accounted for the height variances maybe being different, we picked the, the shortest part. Uh, but there's just too much variance in the concrete floor in the house. Um, this doesn't, don't do it that way. So we watched another video where the guy lays the boards down on the ground first, does the, the, the seal around the ground, I guess is what it's called, uh, and then on the floor, and then across the ceiling, and then he puts the two by fours in after. And that's the route we're going to do. Also it'll be a little easier because we were gonna have to clear all this garbage out of the way, and now we won't have to do that. So we're changing our strategy because that did not work. Do not do that. Do not make your wall and try to put it up. It might work with a brand new construction where everything is kind of straight, but an older house where walls, uh, foundations have settled and stuff, don't even attempt it. Uh, do not even attempt it. It's not, it's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. Just, just like that. It does really good, don't it? Really nice, yeah. Night and day difference between just a regular drill. So yeah, it took no effort at all. Nope, not at all. That's all it took to put that in. When you have the right tools, it's really nice. Another reason why we're doing this is do you realize how insanely heavy an eight foot wall is to lift that's all made out of pressure treated lumber? It's insane. So <laughs> that's another reason why we decided we're gonna just do it this way. All right, Chris, so mm -hmm. this is what we did. We put the, uh, we made sure we got the bottom straight and then we put the top, we just fastened, Chris fastened the screw right here and so it matched the end and then he went down to the other end and then we can just throw a level on the, level on it like this. Yeah, it ain't perfect, but it's pretty It's close. a little, little off, but you see that, so that's where you got off. Yeah. So you were just a little off, so just be aware of that. Yep. But that gives you an idea and then you can just level that, run your screws in. Wow, that's going much quicker, ain't it? It's Are you talking to me? That's going really oh, well. Uh, what? That's going really well, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. 
Yeah, that's going really well. So this is the last day of week six, Thursday. Wednesday? Thursday. 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 So there be wall here. Yeah. So yeah, that worked much easier. I should have got it down here sooner. Boy, I didn't know you were going I didn't know it was going that fast. Uh-huh. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, you will have that wall finished. Oh yeah. And the other. You may have the fourth wall finished at this rate. I don't know about the fourth wall finished, but I'll definitely have the third wall finished.